freak. Hi friends, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, as you can see, we're trying something a little different today, something new. I've never actually done a Let's Play before, but I think it'll be fun to start with a Let's Play of Stardew Valley. So let's change the settings a little bit. Uh, I might just skip this part when I get to editing, but we'll see. It's kind of weird because despite the fact that I've streamed this game before, and I've, you know, just done streaming in general before, it feels really weird just talking to no one. I kind of like that hairstyle. Oh, there's so many different shirts to choose from. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. I think the fun shirts are towards the end. That's fine. This will just be Wardrobe Simulator for a little while. Yeah, see, there's... This is where the fun shirts are, I think. That's a pretty good one. Uh, I like that one too. Pants. There's only like four pants. Yeah, pants is good. And how many accessories are there? A few. I like those cool sunglasses, but I'm going to take them off for now so I can see his eyes. Uh, I want to make his eyes... purple. Um... How do we do this? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, that's a nice light purple. Green skin, purple eyes. Seems good to me. And, of course, we want white hair. Duh. Pants color. Uh, blue jeans is fine, honestly. I don't mind the blue jeans. Especially with the this cool sunglasses look. I like that a lot. Uh, let's call him Martin. Martin Gale. That'll be fun. Marty for short, I guess. This is, of course, the Duck Duck Goose Farm. Does it fit? It does not. Duck Duck Go. Duck Duck Goose without an E. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And our favorite thing is Stardew Valley. Because... Oh. Did that work? I don't know. Stardew Valley. No, that doesn't work either. Hmm... Stardews. Love that. Uh, this is one of my favorite games, which is why I'm choosing to play this one as our Let's Play. Um, you know what, in case you haven't seen it, we can do the intro. Now, I've only ever done the standard farm, so I don't really know what's, what's up with all, the, with all these other ones. Excuse me. <laughs> but let's try... let's try a beach farm. I think that'll be fun. Of course, the backstory for this guy will probably be different than standard intro, because he's clearly a super cool alien dude, but we can just go with that. Uh, okay, let's get started with Martin. Oh, there's our grandpa clutching a letter on his deathbed. to click, I forgot. Well, that's Pretty real, I think. Do I have to click to advance? Oh yes, okay, good. My bright spirit will fade before glow a glowing emptiness. A growing emptiness. It's pretty sad, actually. I'll be ready for this gift. Okay. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird to just let a farm sit there for a while. Okay. Some number of years. That might be 20, but I think it's just some number. Here we are working at Joja Corp. Oh, this is really sad. I haven't watched the intro to this in a long time, actually. Why are we so short? Why is that guy so big? 
Oh, and that guy's just straight up dead. That's neat. Yeah, actually, it's been a while since I've watched this intro, and it's kind of making me sad, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't expect this when I opened Stardew Valley. Okay, dear Martingale, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. True? The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real co oh, whoops. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Duck Duck Goose Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. I actually didn't realize that there was like a map of where Stardew Valley was located, but that's cool. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Wow, Lewis was old even when Grandpa was there? That's kind of crazy. Okay, so that gets us started on our way to Stardew Valley on this bus that does not appear to be driven by Pam. So that's pretty neat. Kind of a weirdly long road on this side, but that's okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, I kind of wanted to start with this game because it's something that's very casual, like easy to play very casually. So I can kind of pick this up at any time that I feel like playing more. And it's a game that I have a couple hundred hours in, I think. So I'm pretty comfortable with the game in general, I think. And I really like it a lot. I can explain what I like about it, I guess, as we go and what sort of memories I have. But why don't we just get started and let the game speak for itself? Okay, so this is Robin, the local carpenter. And we're gonna meet Mayor Lewis soon. Farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Great, I'd love to. Oh, I don't have to. Okay, cool. Cutscene me is very good at this. Yeah, so we picked a beach farm, which looks pretty neat. Unfortunately, I think we can't put sprinklers in most of these places. Yeah, it's not looking great, is it? I think it's mostly sand, actually, but that, that's okay. With a little dedication? Sure, sure. Okay, Robin, let's go for it. Aw, oh, my nice new home. And there's the mayor, just in my house. Ah, oh, the soundtrack to this game is so good as well. Oh, everyone's been asking about me? Is it because I look really cool or because I'm green? Oh, just because I'm someone new. Alright, that's that's fair, I guess. Cottage. Yeah, that's a good name for this. Very rustic. <laughs> Is that just a way to say old? It's a rustic decomposition of a farmhouse. Oh, okay, Robin's just... Wow, going straight for the jugular. <laughs> uh, good old Robin. <laughs> Are they really gonna say my full name every time, huh? Yeah, that's true. I will buy her house upgrades. Robin is a good businesswoman. Thank you. I would love to get some rest. Okay, gotta go introduce myself to people. I should also clean up my farm, actually. We'll see. We'll see. He's talking about this box over here. Apparently... Oh, actually, I forgot that Lewis is the one who supposedly comes by every night to pick up our... All the crap that we want to sell. That's kind of a weird bit of lore. Because we can go to bed as late as 2 in the morning, and we get up at 6 every morning. So Lewis comes sometime between 2 and 6 in the morning, which is kind of crazy. We have this cool TV, which is nice, tells us the weather, tells us our fortune, gives us hints about living off the land. Chop some wood and search for a wild forage. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, there's a package here, probably from Lewis. It's going to be like parsnip seeds, I bet. I didn't realize we started with a bookcase on the beach farm. That's really cute. I like that a lot. All right, let's open this up. 
15 parsnip seeds. Love it. So our journal's over here. Okay, a little something new to start it. Thank you. So the journal will tell us our quests, basically. Uh, here's all of our tools and stuff. I don't know why I said end stuff, just this is our inventory. We can open up our full inventory with E uh, to look at everything here. And there's a bunch of other stuff like skills, social, we have to meet all of these people. Uh, the ones that say single mean that we can romance them. Uh, there's a map of the town, which is pretty neat. Kind of weird that we're just on an island in the middle of the town, but you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up the journal. Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. I think parsnips grow in like four days, so that's pretty easy. And we need to meet everyone in town. Well, not quite everyone. Some of the people don't count towards the, uh, that counter. First thing we should do probably is clean up the farm a little bit. So with our axe, we can cut wood. With our pickaxe, actually, I want to change that around. With our pickaxe, we can mine stone. I think with either of them, we can hit these fiber things, but we can also do it just with our scythe. It's a little bit easier that way. And then, finally, we're going to want to till the soil. So let's use the hoe. One, two, three, four, five, and we have 15, so let's go three down. And I didn't quite do enough, so we'll get that piece of rock in a second. As you can see in the bottom right corner, we have energy. We also have health, because there's combat in this game, but the health doesn't show while you're at full health. Only the energy shows. So that's pretty great. And then we can just plant the parsnip seeds. And of course, very important, we have to water them. Hopefully you can't hear my keyboard too much. Uh, so you can see better what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut this tree down. The thing is, you can upgrade your tools, and of course you gain more skills as you go on. And when you get your axe upgraded to like the highest level axe, it only takes like two chops to cut down a tree. Uh, whereas that took me like 10 or 15, I think. So that's kind of annoying at the beginning of the game. It's a little weird. Starting again from scratch without any tools, without any skills, and with a really small inventory. So that's one thing you can do, you can ex expand your inventory. You have to pay a decent amount of money to do that. But it's really worth it when you go out adventuring. And so, all right, it's nine in the morning. We've pretty much taken care of everything we need to do at home. Um, I'd like to craft a chest. I don't know if we can do that yet. Yeah, we can, okay. So we should collect more wood so that we can craft a chest, so that I can store all of this crap. And then I'd like to go into town and talk to all the people. It's also going to be important, as the TV said, to forage wild um, fruits and things like that, in part because we can eat them to give us more energy. We're gonna run out of energy really fast at the beginning. Um, and also because we can sell it, because we're not going to have any income for a little while. We have 500 gold to start, but we're not going to make much more until we get a harvest. So, selling our wild fruit and things is a good way to make up for that. Let's chop, like, seven more of these little guys so that we can... Okay, so we can build that chest. Okay, just need two more. Oh, I can chop this little tree. I'll have a little bit left over. That'll be good. Cool. So now you can go into this crafting tab, and we can build a chest. Put that in our inventory, select it, and then let's just put it right in front of our house for now. Great, I love that. And we can put all the things that we don't need right in there for now. Uh, we can also check our mailbox. We don't have any mail. If we did have mail, there'd be like a little icon over it. And then our watering can has limited uses, so we can go up to a water source and fill it right back up. And our energy is now getting pretty low. So let's go over into town. Uh, it's Monday, the first day of the month. There are 28 days in each month, and there are four months in a year. Well, each season is one month long, 
I should say. Sorry about that, just had to take a sip of water. Ah, okay, so there's a question mark here. Don't know what that's about, but let's take a look. Okay, so we just met Marnie, that's good. And we met this dude, the doctor, that's cool. And look, it's Leah. These are all cool people. Um, I like those people. I've actually, in one of my... My most recent playthrough, actually. I, uh, I think I married Leah. I don't know why I said I think. I know that's a, that's a fact. I did that. So Marnie lives... Marnie and Leah actually live to the south of our farm. And Marnie sells, like, animals and things like that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this is the calendar, which is neat. It shows when everyone's birthday is. If you give somebody a present they like on their birthday, they become very happy with you, which is cool. And this is Pierre's shop, where we can go. And this is Pierre's family. We can meet them really quick. I am Martingale. Thank you. I just realized that I actually made my char uh, my character actually look pretty cool, which is kind of funny. Okay, there's Abigail. She's the, the daughter. And here's Pierre. Oh, actually, I should meet Pierre first. Mr. Martingale. Yes, sir. I am looking for seeds. Not right now, but I am. And here's where you can upgrade your backpack. We don't have that kind of money, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I could buy more seeds now. Mm. I don't really feel like it. We'll do that later. Maybe we'll get cauliflower seeds when our when our ship comes in. Uh, let's meet some more people. Alex, don't go home. Oh no, I went into his house by accident. Well, it's fine. Let's meet the old people. Okay, Granny. Which I mean Evelyn. And there's Alex, the grandson. I am the new guy. Okay, hi, George. He's actually quite nice when you get to know him. He's a grump at the beginning, though. Okay, Penny just went home, so I'll, I'll meet her tomorrow or something. Well, I'm already here, actually. May as well go meet Penny. Hello, Penny. Where are we at? Okay, 12 out of 28. That's a pretty good start for the first day. Pretty good. Oh, wow, it's already been... Nearly 17 and a half minutes and only 1.30 p.m. The person I actually really want to meet lives down south at the beach because there's a fisherman down there and he... Oh, there's also some good forage at the beach. I forgot. It's pretty neat. Although I actually live on a beach, so I can probably get forage from my house. I don't know for sure because I've never played the beach farm, but that seems like the sort of thing that would happen. Okay, let's see. Is Willie's shop open? It is not. Willie's gone fishing. Okay, so that's cool. So I guess he doesn't appear until the second day. I want to get a fishing rod from him. Partly because I live on the beach, and partly because while we wait for our crops to grow, fishing is a pretty good way to make a small income. So that'll be really nice. Uh, we can also sell these things, the cockle and the clam. That's a good way to make some income. Okay, so two sisters live in here. This one's Emily. I am going to love it here in Pelican Town. Stop by the saloon, she works there. Okay, cool. I would love to. There's probably a lot of people who go there, so I can meet them all. But it's still 3pm, so hopefully they're not at the saloon yet. Uh, okay, I've met her. I met Caroline, but not Jody. Hello, Jody. You aren't exactly how I imagined. Why? Because <laughs> I'm green and I have white hair? Or because I'm super cool? Uh, there's a rock there, apparently. This is Vincent. He's Jody's son. Hello, Vincent. That's right, I do seem okay. Yeah, there's two kids in this town, and they're really, they're really sweet. Uh, hopefully I get to meet Jas pretty soon. Is there anybody up here? Do I have to go explore the... Can I go into the community center yet? So this kind of triggers the main quest line. Uh, it's locked. Okay, so that'll happen later, I guess. Well, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to go back to my farm and just explore my farm a little bit first. Oh, here's somebody to meet. This is Robin's daughter, I think. I am the one who just moved in. 
Yes, hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's just go home for now. And we can sell off a couple things to make a little bit of money. I don't actually know what we're going to do with our money, because... Actually, probably the first thing we want to do is get to that backpack. So that we can hold more fish, eventually. But let's... Okay. Let's go use the collection box. So one thing you can do is you can either select the thing that you want to sell and just... Uh, sorry. And just left-click the collection box. Or you can right-click the collection box and pick things out of your inventory to sell. Okay, so let's take a nice little walk around our farm. Mostly filled with crap. That's cool. There's a little pond here. I don't know if we can fish in that pond. I kind of doubt it. Uh, it looks like most of this is sand, which evidently we can grow crops on, which is neat. But I think we can only put sprinklers on this area right here. Which is kind of tough because it's covered in these logs, which are hard to cut down. We need to upgrade our axe at least once, I think. Possibly twice. I think just once to be able to do that. And then there's a little bridge down here. I guess we can fish that way, which is neat. Wait, can I get to Marnie's house from here? Oh, can I not get to Cindersap Forest directly from my from my house? That's new. So as far as I know, in all the other farms, if I open up the map here, um, we can see Marnie's ranch down there, Leia's cottage. This is the Cindersap Forest. And there's usually a path down from below our farm straight into Cindersap Forest. But well, that'll be quite inconvenient, actually, if we can't go directly there. I guess it makes a little sense, like, where are we going to go? But still. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to look into that later. So let's just go directly to Cinder's Hat Forest ourselves. Or should we go to the saloon first? Hmm. It's getting dark. Well, let's quickly go to Cinder's Hat Forest, have a look around. And then we can go over to the saloon and see if anybody's there to meet. So that's where Marnie lives. She's got some animals. She sells animal-related things. This is Leah's cottage. And typically, there's a path up this way. Yeah, exactly. Up this way towards our house. I wonder where it leads. Okay, up to the farm. Oh, there's a path. Okay. I just didn't know... Wait, where, where did I go? Oh, my farm is a lot more... Oh, wait, I just went... I just missed it. Okay. That's good. That makes things easier. I'm just kind of an idiot, I guess. 8 p.m. I wonder if people will start going home at 8 p.m. You know, I think it's time for us to go home. We've had... I just ran into stuff in my farm. Okay. We've had a pretty good day. Let's say goodnight, and see how much money we made. Okay, 100 gold. That's not bad. Well, that is our first day of Stardew Valley. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.